Hey guys, what's going on? Jay Will here again at Veteran Nerd Review. Getting ready to give you guys another Marvel Legends review on the Marvel Legends Retro Card New Release Beast. And this is now, of course, my new favorite beast because it just comes with so many cute little goodies. But before we get started, guys, go ahead and hit the like button, comment, subscribe, share your thoughts so you guys can be in the know as far as my upcoming raffle that I have getting ready to go on. In a few months or so, I'm going to start getting ready to implement a nice little deal for you guys to be able to maybe buy or win particular figures of great value or just highly sought after figures so guys go ahead and uh, hit the subscribe button for me so you guys can be in the know and then circle on that alright so before we get into it of course we're gonna go ahead and do a nice little comparison take a look at the packaging of course first and we'll get into the figure and guys I am getting ready for work so I'm gonna probably try to rush this a little bit so, for the packaging, we do have a pretty standard uh, retro card here. We have the uh, old school style X-Men Beast look right there from the 90's cartoon. Uncanny X-Men. Nice bubble packaging right there. Got some read-ups on the back. Got a read-up right here. If you guys want to read it, go ahead and pause it now. Artwork of the figure right there, of course. It's more legal terms and whatnot rigmarole and stuff like that so pretty much it for the packaging here so let's bring this guy a little bit closer and do some quick comparisons all right and i do have the few beasts put out here have the uh older beast from i believe this was the uh warlock build a figure wave and i customized the face from a gray beast right here that way I can kind of have a, a blue, relaxed, kind of chilling Hank McCoy face. But the blue is a little bit brighter than the rest of the body, but that's okay. Then you have the uh, Grey Beast from the Retro card that I also picked up. Ollie's. Twelve bucks. And then I also have Dark Beast. Let's bring these guys back just a little bit so I can try to see if I can squeeze these guys all in the same shot. Yeah. Man, quite the beast of a review, if I might add. Man, these guys look, all look very nice to me. So, gonna bring these guys back out. Oops. I do believe these guys are pretty much uh, the same figure exactly, just for like maybe a few shades off. Yeah, the shades of blue are a little bit different. I think a little bit like lighter on this blue on this beast, and this one, uh, this one right here has a little bit more shading as far as coloring in the fur. Like you've seen the feet there. Let's go ahead and take his jacket off. I love that it comes with a jacket. We need more soft goods, Hasbro. Yeah, just peel it off, I'm guessing, right there. Oh, his glasses fell. Let's go ahead and pop his hands off so it should be easier to get the uh, coat off here. There we go, comes right off. Nice. Put his hands back on. And presto, here he is. Like I mentioned before, like a bit of a lighter shade of blue for this guy. This guy's a little bit darker. And he has more shading and detailing as far as like paint on his shoulders and neck area. Back. Chest hair. So yeah. Other than that, not too much of a difference between these guys. Nice. Definitely appreciate that. Would have been nice if they added a little more shading on this guy, but... Nevertheless, what can you do? So, let's go ahead and throw in a few more X-Men characters. We have the uh, VHS Cyclops that I just did a review on. Awesome figure. My new favorite Cyclops. And we also have the Tiger Stripe Wolverine with the can of beams equipped claws right there. So, these guys definitely look very good together. Beast is a very huge character. Most of the time you see him, he's crouched down or like kind of like crawl walking, but... When he stands up straight completely, he is a very tall figure. Very tall character. And as far as accessories, it comes with one kind of like book holding hand. Oops. Light went out. And so it comes with one book holding kind of claw hand right here. For his book that he... Well, 
he doesn't come with this book. This book comes with the Grey Beast, but you can, of course, equip the book right there in his hand for have him reading. And he comes with a fist hand. First time seeing a beast with a fist hand or down to business hand. So yeah, he can he can get busy on him for the one time, as they say. And he has a palm hand for like laying on the uh, palming the ground or whatever as he crawls or walks along. And he has a vial holding hand or kind of like a small grippy hand. Comes with two vials here the one that's labeled X gene if you guys can see that and then one kind of obligatory green vial so nice and he also comes with a set of glasses as well as one interchangeable roaring kind of head so whenever he takes his smock off he's uh, in a bad mood but yeah overall not a bad figure not bad at all. Definitely like the sculpting and detailing and everything. Same as like with the other beasts as far as sculpting goes. But he looks very nice. Very clean blue all the way through. So, yeah. And as far as articulation goes, let's get down to brass taxes. He can look up that far. Looks down that far. Side to side motion. Little bit of pivot or tilt in the neck. So you can get a little bit of motion out of there. Love that they finally gave him a relaxed kind of face sculpt. Shoulders move out that far. The sides, he has butterfly joints that go back that far. Move forward that far. So awesome having that much articulation on a beast figure. I missed the old one, the old Toy Biz beast from back in the day. So I kind of uh, guess made it up for by getting all the beasts that are currently out. Shoulders go all the way around. Bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. They bend in pretty far. So that's nice. Wrist rotation, up and down movement on all the hands. So that's nice. Then he has a torso articulation. It kind of gives him a little bit of a the around the world kind of motion right there. I can loosen up a little bit so it allows and it also has an ab crunch. It allows it to crunch back pretty far once you combine the two. Crunch forward that far. There's a waist cut. Well, it doesn't have a waistcoat. It just has that articulation of the upper torso right there. So I thought the belt was covered. might have been covering the waist articulation, waistcoat or whatever. But it's not. Just a loose piece of plastic right there. So no biggie. He kicks out to the sides that far. Kicks forward that far. Kicks for backwards uh, pretty decently because it's, he's on kind of like a bit of a wide joint. So it kind of wise out as he turns. Or as his leg moves backwards. So it's pretty cool. He has an upper thigh cut. It's kind of tight on mine, of course, but it's there. As you guys can see, it's a thigh cut there. It's really tight. Then double jointed knees that allow him to bend in very far as B should be able to do. Then he has angle pivot as well as up and down motion. And beautiful artic toe articulation right there. So, And of course, they detailed it like, his toes a little bit more. They went ahead and added white claws versus the old one on the hands and feet so nice little note right there overall pretty cool looking guy definitely very excited to have him as far as him being my definitive beast now I mean it's, I don't know it's kinda of between these two as far as my beast display so whichever one I kinda of, I guess whichever one I'm feeling like that day that I want to display on my shelf can it can really go either way but I'm probably going to have him display most of the time when he's relaxed or in his laboratory with his uh, lab coat on. So, yeah, pretty cool figure. Like I said, guys, uh, hit the like button, comment, subscribe, share your thoughts. And I will be back with more reviews in the very, very near future. But, uh, gotta get ready for work. Appreciate you guys for stopping by. Later.